This video was made possible by the EA Creator Network. Thank you so much to EA for sending me a copy of the pack. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome back to my Sims 4 speedboarding video or welcome to the channel if you're new here. So in today's video, I'm gonna be building in the world of Windenburg, which is the world that we got from the expansion pack this Sims 4 get together. And I'm gonna be building a home chef's dream French country home using the new stuff that we've got from the latest stuff pack because stuff packs have finally made a return. The new stuff pack, it came out last night and it is called the Sims 4 Home Chef Hustle Stuff Pack. So this house ends up having two bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms and it's built on a 20 by 20 lot. Now, of course, this week I wanted to do a build sitting down using all the new stuff that we got from the latest stuff pack, which, like I just said, came out yesterday. I still actually can't believe that we've got the return of stuff packs because at this point in time, I'd kind of just wrote them off. I genuinely didn't think we'd ever get a new stuff pack DLC for the game, but apparently I was wrong because yesterday was new stuff pack day, which, actually thinking about it, I probably haven't said that sentence in a good couple of years because... It's been, it's been a bit overdue since we got a new stuff pack. The last one that we got was the Paranormal Stuff Pack and that came out forever and a day ago. And so I'm really excited that we've now got the reintroduction of stuff packs in the game. And so of course, I just wanted to do a build, sitting down and pretty much showcasing all the new content that we got within it. And so yeah, this is, this is what I built. And so I hope you guys like it. But getting on and talking a little bit more about the build. So like I've already said, I'm building a French countryside cottage, which was very much inspired by this new stuff pack. Basically what happened is I saw the stuff pack, of course, in the trailer for the first time. But then once I actually got my hands on the pack and I had the, the items in my game and I could individually look at them, to me, the impression that I got was very French inspired. Like it just looked like a lot of the items, a lot of the different clutter decorations and especially the wallpaper really looked like it belonged in some sort of French countryside kitchen. And so if you want to put it one way, the, the, the wallpaper that we got from this stuff pack pretty much inspired this whole entire build. It is a very good wallpaper. By the way, it comes in some lovely swatches, but you can also use it for your bathrooms as well, so it's very versatile. But yeah, the, the wallpaper in this new stuff pack pretty much inspired me to build something French because it looked like it belonged in France. I then also found out, by the way, that apparently the team that worked on this stuff pack were a European team. So then once I found that out, it kind of made more sense why I got the impression of somewhere in Europe or to build something off a European-based country. But yeah, like I said, this house ends up having two bedrooms and one and a half bathrooms. There is one full bathroom upstairs and then a half bathroom downstairs. And then I decorate the rooms to be one for either like a single sim, a couple, a single parent, a set of parents, and there is also a kid's room as well. Now, originally when I came into this build, I didn't have like a set idea of what kind of sim that I imagined to live here. All I know, to be completely honest with you, is that they were a chef and they really like cooking. And so for that reason, I made the kitchen in this house colossal like it's such a big kitchen but i did it on purpose because we've got so many new kitchen related items from this kitchen stuff pack which i feel like is a bit of a given but i really wanted to showcase like all the different corner pieces all the different sections of the cabinet that come with the kitchen counters and so yeah the kitchen ends up being absolutely colossal but i didn't really have any set like storyline in mind when i was building but then as i progressed throughout the build i kind of started building to some sort of a I want to call it like a basic-ish kind of storyline of a single parent living here. I was more so picturing a single mum and she lives here with her little girl and the mum's a chef and she just lives and brews baking and cooking. She's a proper, proper chef in the kitchen, really good at it. And I imagine that in her day-to-day, -day, what she does on like her nine to five is she runs around the world of Windenburg and she has a little food stall and she sells all of the different things that she makes in her kitchen. It's like all the different cakes, all the different pastries. Maybe sometimes she'll whip out the new waffles because we've now got waffles in the game because if you're not aware the new stuff pack is not just for like decorations by the way there's actually some new gameplay elements attached to it which makes me so happy because i feel like it has been forever and a day since we've had some sort of smaller dlc that has gameplay attached to it because we got the introduction of kits when stuff packs were kind of a bit off the radar we got the introduction of kits we only have one gameplay kit which is bust the dust and ever since then the smaller DLCs have more so just been like decorative items, but 
yeah, no, with, with this new stuff pack, there is new gameplay. We have a new waffle making machine. Your Sims can make waffles of all different types. We then also have a new pizza oven, which I'm so excited to do future back gardens and make like a little pizzeria area in your back garden. I just, especially in like the world of Tartosa, I feel like that will go so perfectly. But then there is also a new standalone mixer. So your Sims can have a mixing machine in their kitchen. They can make dough from it. They can prepare vegetables. They can prepare, I'm pretty sure like meat and stuff it's just it's really nice to have a smaller dlc that actually has some sort of gameplay attached to it it's just it's been a while and it's been a bit overdue and so yeah i i imagine that the mum in this household she runs around the world of windenburg basically just selling off all of the different things that she makes in her kitchen one thing i feel like i need to tell you about though because i just want to make sure you save your game before if this could potentially happen to you when i was playtesting this build because i playtest every single one of my builds but when i was coming in and getting my sims to interact with all the different objects make sure that they're usable and stuff i got my sim to interact with the waffle making station and it instantly catched on fire like when i say instantly she opened the lid she hadn't even pulled the batter in and somehow the whole entire kitchen island as well as the ceiling light was on fire i've never seen a ceiling light in the sims 4 be a light i've never seen fire quite literally on the ceiling but it happened in this build because there is something a bit iffy going on with that waffle making station because it just likes to catch on fire so just be wary of that don't worry I, I saved a version of this build before the fire happened so it's the exact same as what you're going to see on screen but yeah i would just be very careful when interacting with the waffle making station just make sure you save your game beforehand just in case it goes a bit out of hand and maybe you lose items or potentially sims for for that matter but anyway moving on and actually getting back and talking about the build and also what i'm doing right now so as you can see i've pretty much done the whole main exterior shell of the build already come in and done the majority of the landscaping i'm just currently working on this kind of like little upper porch side area so over here i have placed down like a little art easel i placed down a unlockable like little it's almost like a little side table. We got it from the Sims 4 base game. It's from the artist's career, but it's basically like a decorational object that looks like some sort of like artsy bits and bobs, like paint brushes and paint cans and stuff and like painting materials on it. So I placed that down next to the art easel. I then also found a unlockable chair from the Sims 4 base game. It's this really nice, like plain brown chair, but it's got this really nice pattern on it and I never use it. Honestly, I kind of forget about it, but I placed that down as well. And then I moved objects, like a little open book, a a little debug paintbrush and then also some sort of mug next to it and then also on that little upper porch bit i placed down a chess table but then as you can see i've now moved over to kind of like this back garden ish kind of area it's weird because where i'm building i'm building in the world of windenburg like i said but i'm building on this particular lot that pretty much has has no neighbours like it's pretty much out in the sticks out on its own and so i wasn't so worried about fencing it off so like no one can go back into the back garden because I don't really feel like that many people would be around just to like wander in to your sims back garden and so over there i placed down a chicken coop and then also some planters now one thing i will say is in the uploaded version on the gallery you're not going to see a chicken coop which makes me really really sad because where i was thinking that this single mum lives here i was thinking that she probably grows all of her own spices grows all of her own vegetables and stuff that she uses in her cooking also really like the idea of if she likes baking to have her own eggs and she can like pop out into the garden of a daytime and go and collect the eggs of a morning unfortunately when i was playing this in this house i i attached some chickens to the chicken coop and then they literally one behind the chicken coop disappeared never saw them again i don't know where they went i could click on the coop itself and i could see that there was three chickens attached to the coop and you know in gameplay you can click on the chicken coop and then you can say like call all roaming chickens to the coop when my sim did that she was just like waving her hands up in the air she didn't know where the chickens went i didn't know where the chickens went the, the chickens were not on the lot i could not see them but they were still somehow attached to the coop they literally just wandered behind it and it literally evaporated they, they just disappeared so i don't know where they went and so because of that i was worried that you might also encounter that in gameplay and i just didn't want the scenario of maybe you downloading this house you buying some chickens naming them getting attached to them and then the same thing happening to you and so i thought you know what i'm just going to remove the chicken coop of course if you want to you could re-add it back in and then maybe if you want to put an actual fence around the edge of the back garden it might work that way because the fence that i use in the back garden as well as the front garden it's just a live edit fence like it's not a real fence in game technically your sims can walk 
through it. But if you place down like certain landscaping items near the fence, I found personally that Sims will kind of like walk around it. So it kind of looks somewhat realistic, but yeah, maybe you want to re-add the chicken coop back in. But I did just want to, did just want to mention that. But either way, moving on, as you can see, I've now moved on into the inside of the house, quickly just did the front little entrance hallway, and now I've moved on into the kitchen. So in the kitchen, like I've already mentioned, it ends up being on a bit of a bigger side. And that is just because I really wanted to try and make use of all the different counter and then also cabinet pieces, all the different cabinet and counter sections that we've got from this new stuff pack. Because I'm not sure how many people actually know this, but... You know when you place down a counter into the game and you have just like the normal counter that your sims can make food on if you were to click on the counter itself there's some sort of like little toggle if you click on that toggle it's then gonna show you all these different like end pieces for that counter the the corner pieces are all these different sections of the counter which normally you can't see in the normal like build and buy category because you have to toggle this certain option but like you see the counters that are placed down some of them have like little like shelves within the actual counters themselves some of the corner pieces have like little chopping boards coming out of them they are just because i was able to toggle that little counter menu and so when it came around to doing this house i knew that i basically wanted to try and use all the different new counter pieces and in that in that doing it just ends up being quite a big kitchen but i'm really happy with it this way because then that way i could then also place down all the different kitchen appliances and then also some of the new clutter now the clutter pieces in this stuff pack make me so happy because some of the some of the pieces kind of correspond to the kitchen appliances that we also got in this stuff pack but then some of them are also just like more updated more modern pieces of previous clutter that we already had in the game but we just got like a new version of it so for example we've got a new knife block and then also some new spices it's just kind of like decoration for your kitchen counter but we've already had them in the game it's just always nice just to get like a new updated version of them and so yeah we've got a new knife block and then a new like little spice rack but we also got some decorational pieces that kind of correspond to the new kitchen appliances so one example you see the pizza oven just kind of like in the corner of the screen we got some clutter decoration which looks like some pizza remaking bits and bobs basically i don't know how to describe it it's basically a tin of tomato some cheese a cheese grater and then some sort of spices to me i love that because it makes it just feel a little bit more realistic and it makes it feel like my sims have actively gone to the shop got some cheese they popped it out onto the counter and maybe at the minute they're making like a margarita pizza or something and so they've just plopped it onto the side but we've also got some decorations to do with like the new waffle making station the the cluster that goes along with that is sort of like this little jam jar and it's got these little berries next to it and also some cream but then we've also got a kitchen scale which you can see that i placed down it next to the oven but then behind that it's my new favorite piece of kitchen clutter and it is the cookbook so to start off with when i place this down this kitchen it was already my favorite kitchen clutter piece already just because it just looks really cute it's this open book on this little book stand it's got some swatches that have like all these different recipes in there is also some swatches that have like post-it notes attached to it and so i tried to play with like the post-it note kind of situation and off that you can see that i'm cluttering up both the fridge and then also this new oh, what's it called like a the hood is it called a hood that you place above the oven i cluttered that up with some uh, post-it notes basically off the back of this little cookbook but the cookbook itself your sims can actually click on it and they can make stuff from that cookbook now don't get me wrong it doesn't have any interaction like your sims aren't going to walk up to the cookbook and start reading the pages but basically you can click on the cookbook and you can click like cook or bake or pretty much any like food making clickable thing that we have in the game your sims have now attached this cookbook it was a small little detail and i think i love it so much because i genuinely did not expect it and don't get me wrong it's not like a game changing thing but to me it just makes me happy that they really thought about that when they came around to designing the item just to make it a little bit more just realistic just for us like for our for our storytelling minds it just makes it feel a little bit more like your sims can actually click on that book and they're not just got this random book decoration in their kitchen i just i just really liked it i really appreciated it so i just wanted to mention it just in case you do happen to get your hands on this stuff pack and you place it down to your kitchen yeah you, you can actually click on it and you can get your sims to pretty much cook from that cookbook they basically would just redirect themselves to either like the oven or or the stovetop but like i said it's just a nice little 
unexpected detail but also actually before I forget I do end up placing down the new dishwasher that we got from this stuff pack it's more of like a slim line dishwasher so basically when you place it down into the counter it doesn't completely like swallow the whole entire counter like front piece of it you can still see some of the counter piece within the dishwasher or like around the dishwasher I do end up placing it down but I kind of did forget about it when I was decorating the kitchen because I was just so amused by the cookbook and by some of the clutter decorations that it kind of escaped my mind but you'll notice in in the screenshots there is the new slimline dishwasher I think I placed it down by the new stand standing mixer but either way as you can see I've now moved on into the next room which is the tv room like the sitting room in here I did something that made me so happy and I feel like you can probably guess what it is I placed down a tv onto an art easel to make it look like it's a painting, but it's not, it's a TV. So I feel like at the start of the clip when I came in and I started decorating this lounge room seating area, you can almost see my light bulb moment because to be completely honest with you, I must have tried to decorate this in particular room about three or four times. I just couldn't figure out how to make this seating room feel small and cozy and just like cottagey, but then also make it so it's got a TV and it's also got some sort of like seating area because the room itself is very squishy, like it's very small. And so I must have decorated about three or four times, but you know, I came in and I basically placed down the sofa and originally I was gonna place down an armchair and then I went through the TV category. I then remembered that we've got this new TV from the Modern Lux kit, which is the latest kit for The Sims 4. But basically, this TV, when it's off, it, it looks like a painting, but it's not, it's actually a TV. So when your Sims will sit down in front of the telly, they can click on it and they can just watch the TV and the, the picture disappears and it becomes a normal average TV that your Sims can watch films on, they can watch the news on, they can maybe do some workouts if they fancy. But I just had this idea to place it down to the art easel and once I did it, it just made me so happy. And if you're wondering, it's usable. Your Sims can interact with it. Your Sims will be able to sit down on the on the sofa and just watch the telly as usual. Now, I think in the back of my mind, I was thinking back to, I think it must have been like earlier this week or maybe like the end of last week. I was on Twitter and I follow a CC creator under the name of Charlie Pancakes, which if you've ever seen any of my CC videos, you probably know who Charlie Pancakes is because I use the majority of their content whenever I do CC builds, but she is a CC creator and she recently teased this image on Twitter where she basically made that kind of thing but using custom content and I think subconsciously I kind of like locked it away in my mind and then when it came around to furnishing that lounge room I just saw the TV must have instantly thought back to this tweet that I saw and then yeah it just kind of like inspired it which I don't think she'll ever see this video but if she ever does then yeah I want to let her know that was kind of inspired by her CC that she I don't think it's out yet, but I think it's coming out very soon. But basically, if you want to do this yourself in the game, what you do is you place down the TV onto the wall and then you go into the activities and skills category in the game and then you pull out an art easel. You can pull out any one that you fancy, any kind of like design of an art easel. It just has to be some sort of art easel. I just use a base game one, which is unlockable from the artist career. But basically, you place down the art easel and then using the tool mod, you can highlight the TV and then pull it forward away from the wall and then place it so then it's kind of looking like it's sitting down onto the art easel like it looks like the art easel is supporting this tv being held up i then rotated it backwards a little bit just so then it kind of looks like it's actually being supported properly and it's not like weirdly floating and then yeah that was pretty much it it's actually really simple to do if you're wondering you don't need to download any custom content or any mods to download this build i know that i use the tool mod a lot when I build because it's just so handy like the tool mod honestly just opens up a whole range of different things that you can experiment within this game but you don't need to go and download any external things if you want to download this build of the gallery the way that the tool mod works is I can change these objects all about like I can move in all different shapes and I can size them up and size them down and, and do whatever with them but when I upload it to the gallery you don't need to have that mod installed to then download this build and for it to look the same like it just it follows over it's so handy this mod but if you are a console player I was thinking if you actually want me to upload this little art easel thing onto the gallery like I can upload like a little separate room with the TV attached to it let me know because I, I appreciate that you can download this build if you're a console player and you can have this in your game but then you might also want to do like an apartment or you might want to do a different kind of build and you want to have this kind of thing and so if that is the case please let me know and I'll be more than happy to upload a little small room onto the gallery with an art easel and then a TV. Um, I might do different versions of the art easel. I might just do one. I'll do whatever you fancy. But yeah, I was thinking if you're a console player and you want to do something like this, 
let me know and I'll be, yeah, more than happy to upload it onto the gallery because I just think it's so fun and so cool. And especially if you've got a sim that is more so artsy inclined or maybe they're more of like a, a traditional sim where they don't want to have loads of different technology in their apartment and you want to kind of disguise the technology with things that doesn't look like technology if you if you do it that way but i'm only saying about console players by the way i mean obviously if you're not a console player you can still download it but i'm just saying about console players because i'm very much aware that console players cannot have cc and mods in their game and so i just want to be useful if, if that is useful but yeah like i said just just let me know but either way moving on as you can see i quickly just did the downstairs like little home office area honestly didn't really know what to make of that room because the way that I, I did the kitchen the kitchen then also became the dining room and then we also had like an extra little sitting room off that so now I was like well what do I do with this extra room downstairs just decided to make it into a home office so in there we've got a bookcase got like a little sofa also got a computer desk as well as a computer and then there is also a little side door which leads out onto the outside but currently as you can see I've moved on to the upstairs quickly just done, done like the outside hallway and now I've moved on into the bathroom but then also kind of like the laundry room so in here i use a new wallpaper which kind of inspired this whole entire build i don't know if it's just me but it looks quite french to me like it just it just screams like it belongs in some sort of like french kitchen but in this case also bathroom like i said it's very versatile this wallpaper you could use it in kitchens in bathrooms in laundry rooms it's just a really good tile and it comes in some really nice swatches but i yeah i also use it in the kitchen i just don't think i mentioned it because i was just so taken away by the fact that we've got these new kitchen appliances the kitchen counters and all of it but yeah this is the new wallpaper so in here i decided to split up the bathroom into two different sections only because it ends up being pretty much the whole entire width of the house and or like the length of the house and it was just such a big bathroom and so i thought what i'm going to do is i'm going to split it up so you walk into the room but then there's an archway which goes into the actual bathroom you kind of initially walk in to like the laundry room so in there i placed down a washing machine a tumble dryer some sort of shelving unit place down like a washing basket some other like little bits and bobs that kind of relate to laundry as well and then you go for the archway you've got the shower and bath combo which is from the growing together expansion pack and then just like a little toilet and a sink area as well as a launch basket but currently moving over you can see that i've started furnishing the first bedroom in this house which is the little girl's room so in here i tried to follow along with this kind of like green scheme that i had going on in the kitchen because i use the new kitchen counters which come in this really nice pastel green color and i kind of use that color swatch to inspire the kids bedroom as well because we've got this wallpaper which is from base game and i think the wallpaper swatch that i've used is one of the more updated swatches because if you're not aware and i did actually speak about this fairly recently when i built that american family home in in Brunton bay but basically we had this base game wallpaper in the game for for ages like pretty much since launch and basically recently the sims team revisited this wallpaper and just gave us some some updated swatches of it i'm not sure if this is an updated swatch of the wallpaper i feel like it might be but i know that the wallpaper that i used in the hallway is the exact same wallpaper but it's just a different swatch and in actual fact i used this same wallpaper next door in the parents room but i just used it in one of these like new updated swatches it's really handy but yeah i decided to go for a bit of a green theme in this bedroom so i decided to use the bed which is from the high school years expansion pack it's got all these different like leaves and some sort of like floral design on it it's also got some like green patterns and so i felt like it went quite nicely in here I just want you to make it feel like a proper little kids room I didn't want to have like a laptop or like a tv or anything and so I placed down one of the drawing tables the one that I've used is from oh what is it called the little campers kit and then I also placed down a toy box at the end of the bed the one that I've used is from the growing together expansion pack there is also a teddy bear which looks like a massive kitten that is from the cats and dogs expansion pack and then I just basically went around the room and just tried to clutter up the walls and just tried to make it feel like yeah, an actual kid lives in this room and it's all their stuff on the walls. Place down like fairy lights, some little Polaroids, place down some sort of like little calendar decoration. I also placed down one of the new updated versions of the base game backpack into this build, which I placed it down in front of like the chest of drawers in this room. But I don't know if you want to notice, when I came in and I started decorating this room, I spent forever trying to find this new lunchbox that we've got in the game because I'm not sure how long ago it was. It might have been like two or three patch updates ago you know like when we get updates for sims 4 and you get like loads of different like patch updates and stuff and maybe sometimes we get new content well we got some new swatches of both the base game backpack and then we got a new lunchbox in the game as well which has all the same swatches on it i spent forever 
try to find this new lunchbox, still cannot find it. I don't know where it is in my game. So if anyone knows the name of this lunchbox, I would really like to know because I want to use it in my builds, but I one, cannot find it if I thought of buy a base game, and two, I, just, I don't even know what it's called to search for it, but yeah, I use one of the newer updated versions of the backpack because the backpack is the same, the same object, they've just added swatches to it, but the lunchbox, we have already a lunchbox in the game, they just gave us another one, and this is the one that I can't find. So if anyone knows where I can find it or the name of it, I would really appreciate that. But you can see that I've now moved over into the last room, which is the parents' bedroom, or like the mum's room. So in here, I decided to go for the bed, which is from the Horse Ranch expansion pack. And I really like the bed swatch because it kind of looks similar to the bed swatch that I used in the kids' room. So I was thinking, maybe the mum picked out her daughter's bed swatch, and then they kind of got, not matching bed swatches, but kind of matching bed swatches in, in some sort of way but then in here as well I placed down a little bookcase a side table a chest of drawers and then also this new standing mirror which is from the modern lux kit but apart from that I'm gonna go around the room and finish it off and that is pretty much it so anyway guys I'm gonna end this voiceover right here as always you can download this build via the gallery my gallery ID is Jessica Pye YT or you can search for the hashtag Jessica Pye YT or just the hashtag Jessica Pye as always, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And as always, if you do like my content, then please do subscribe. And hopefully I will see you in my next Sims 4 speedboarding video. Bye guys.